Hi, Journey family, and uh, thank you for tuning in to our online Ash Wednesday worship experience. Uh, we are really, really glad that you're worshiping with us today, wherever you may be, if you're at home or at work or driving home or whatever that may look like. Uh, we're just grateful that you're part of it with us. Before we jump into some music here, I just wanted to share a little bit of what Ash Wednesday is. Um, essentially, Ash Wednesday marks the beginning of the season of Lent, which is a 40-day season that a lot of Christians use um, as a season of fasting and prayer. More than anything, what we lean into is this heart posture of repentance, of responding to the love of Jesus. The season marks the season that Jesus spent in the wilderness being tempted by the devil, and he fasted all throughout that time. And so we remember that. We remember that Jesus, his full dependence was on God during that time. And we want to lean in and practice the same thing. We want to put our full dependence on Jesus, which because we're human often means that we need to repent of a few things before we can do that well. So we just encourage you wherever you are today, Let's use this time to lean in to the love of Jesus, knowing that the cross and the tomb and the resurrection are right around the corner. As we remember his love for us, as we remember what he did for us, let's just say, God, we repent. We come to you with repentant hearts, open to your spirit, open to what you want to do. Create in us clean hearts, oh God. Let's worship together through music. Come thou fount of every blessing Tune my heart to sing thy grace Streams of mercy never ceasing Call for songs of loudest praise Teach me some melodious sonnet Sung by flaming tongues above Praise the mountain fixed upon it, mount of thy redeeming love. Here I raise my Ebenezer, here by thy great help I've come, and I hope by thy good pleasure safely to saw me when a stranger wandering from the fold of God he to rescue me from danger interposed his precious blood oh, oh, oh. oh to grace how great a debtor daily I constrain to be let thy goodness like a fetter by my wandering heart to thee prone to wander Lord I feel it prone to leave the God I love here's my heart Lord Take and seal it, seal it for thy courts above. Here's my heart, Lord. Take and seal it, seal it for thy courts above. Here's my heart, Lord. Take and seal it, seal it for thy Above. Oh, if more of you means less of me, take everything. Yes, all of you is all I need. Take If more of you means less of me, take everything. Yes, 
That's all of you is all I need. Take everything, oh Lord. Change me like only you can. Here with my heart in your hands, oh Father, I pray, make me more like Jesus. This world, oh, it's dying to know. And you've shown us the way to your heart So Father, I pray, make me more like Jesus Oh Lord, change me like only you can Here with my heart in your hands So Father, I pray, make me world oh it's dying to know who you are you've shown us the way to your heart so father i pray make me more like jesus more like jesus i pray make me Take everything, take everything, oh, oh, take everything. If more of you means less of me, take everything. Yes, all of you is all I need. Take everything Jesus, we thank you for who you are. We thank you that you would come to this world looking like us, but still fully God. That you would choose to enter into the things that we experience would humble yourself in that way and Jesus we know who you are we know that you are the Savior of the world you are the Lord of our lives and Jesus I just pray this Ash Wednesday this season of Lent leading up to Easter Lord just that we would lean into the gospel we would remember your love we would remember what you have done for us that our wandering hearts would come home, that as a response to your love, we would love you back, not just with part of our lives, but with everything. So Lord, if more of you means less of us, then take it all. Jesus, we thank you for loving us first, and we love you back, and we pray this all That's a really powerful worship song. And then I'm going to get really not so spiritual on you and talk about how much I love Chick-fil-A. If you know me, you know I love Chick-fil-A. I, I also love basketball. I also love my wife and my kids. Uh, and I, I love Jesus, right? Uh, and so obviously when we talk about love in all of those different ways, it lacks some precision in exactly what we mean, right? Uh, and sometimes the, the ways that we love, they, they compete with each other. Like, for instance, if my children ask for a bite of my Chick-fil-A fries, I, I hesitate. I'm not going to lie. I hesitate, and sometimes I say no. And sometimes in my best spirit-filled moments, I will share my fries with them. But the love competes, right? So our use of the word love lacks precision, but, but God's use of the word love is very precise. 
And we're going to be exploring that in this Lenten season. And we're going to dwell on the words uh, of the Apostle John in 1 John. I'm going to read them for you in 1 John 4, verses 9 and 10. It says, This is how God showed His love among us. He sent His one and only Son into the world that we might live through Him. This is love. Not that we loved God, but that He loved us and sent His Son as an atoning sacrifice for our sins. This is love. It couldn't be much more clear than that. The sacrificial death of Jesus Christ on a cross to save us from our sin. This is the the root, the source, the, the most beautiful expression of the perfect love of God in Jesus Christ. And all other loves, even love of Chick-fil-A, are, are faint expressions. They're, they're, they're imitations or echoes of this perfect love of God in Jesus, right? And so the love that we share with family and friends, it's a reflection of, it's when we are attuned to the love of God in Christ. What, the love that you have for things that you enjoy, basketball or making art or creating a song, the delight that we experience in those moments are, are a glimpse of the joy we experience when we receive and experience the love of God. And, and when we eat Chick-fil-A, we enter into a glorious supernatural experience of the delight that a perfect Heavenly Father has in displaying His goodness to give us good gifts. And so all of those things point us to the perfect love of God and Jesus in lesser ways, of course, but they're glimpses. So in the season of Lent, what we want to do at Journey is lean in to look at God's definition of love, a a biblical understanding of love. And so our theme is, uh, this is love, following Jesus to the cross beginning today on Ash Wednesday and climaxing on Easter Sunday on March 31st. Each week we're going to be leaning in to look at a a glimpse of the love of God in Scripture. And we'll hang out a little bit in 1 John. And So let me share a couple more verses with you. I love verses 17 and 18 in 1 John 4. I'm going to share them in the message paraphrase. Listen to these words. God is love. When we take up permanent residence in a life of love, we live in God, and God lives in us. This way, love has the run of the house, becomes at home and mature in us. There is no room in love for fear. Well-formed love banishes fear. Since fear is crippling a fearful life, fear of death, fear of judgment, is one yet not yet fully formed in love. The invitation on this Ash Wednesday and in the the days ahead in this Lenten season is to allow the love of God in Jesus to banish fear and anxiety, to allow God's love to heal our brokenness, bind up our wounds, to allow God's love to restore our relationship with God, maybe our relationship with ourselves and and even with others. To allow the love of God in Jesus to uh, inspire us to turn our lives outward in demonstrating that love for others. To let the, the love of God compel us to participate in the work that God is doing to bring His kingdom on earth as it is in heaven. And so, As we enter into this Lenten season, I want to offer four very practical, tangible ways that we could pray our way into the season of Lent. So first, give thanks. Give thanks for all of the ways that God has revealed His perfect love in Jesus. So you might reflect on the cross. You might reflect on the Gospels. You might reflect on, like today, that phone call from a friend or that beautiful moment of seeing the sunset or the sunrise, that they were glimpses, a revelation of God's love for you. And so enter into prayer, giving thanks for the revelation of God's love. 
Secondly, uh, enter into prayer conf- with confession um, of our need to be more fully formed in love. Uh, the Lenten season, especially Ash Wednesday, invites us to this uh, practice of getting in touch with our own brokenness and sin and mortality. And so entering into confession, uh, I encourage you to name specific things, sin, brokenness, wounds, fear, anxiety, and allow your thankfulness then to lead to confession. Um, But let's not just focus on ourselves. So the third thing I want to encourage us to do is to pray specifically by name for friends and family to experience the love of God in Jesus during this Lenten season. And, And maybe it's the person you're going to invite to worship on Easter Sunday or in the days beyond that. So we turn outward, even in our act of praying at the beginning, to pray not generically, uh, but specifically for family and friends to encounter the love of God in Christ. And then the last thing is, is the most encompassing one. What if we enter into prayer in this Lenten season by just offering to God a prayer of surrender to the transforming power of His love? The the song that Sophie sang earlier with us uh, is offered a great prayer of surrender that we could kind of embrace and make it our own during this Lenten season. Listen to the words again. Oh Lord, change me like only you can. Here with my heart in your hands, Father, I pray, make me more like Jesus. This world is dying to know who you are. You've shown us the way to your heart. Father, I pray, make me more like Jesus. If more of you means less of me, take everything. Yes, all of you is all I need. Take everything. What a beautiful, what an appropriate prayer of surrender to begin this Lenten season. Would you join me in praying that prayer? Would you join me in this prayer of surrender, God? We want to follow you to cross, Jesus. We want to grow in loving like you. We surrender to that work that you want to do in us. Sophie's going to lead us in one more song. It it declares that uh, the one who is love is also our living hope. Let's let's make these words our, our hopeful, prayerful declaration as we begin this Lenten season together. How great the chasm that lay between us How high the mountain I could not climb In desperation I turned to heaven And spoke your name into the night Then through the darkness, your loving kindness tore through the shadows of my soul. The work is finished, the end is written, Jesus Christ, my living hope. Who could imagine so great a mercy? What heart could fathom such boundless grace? The God of ages stepped down from glory to wear my sin and bear my shame. The cross has spoken, I am forgiven. The King of kings calls me his own. Beautiful Savior, I'm yours forever. 
Oh, Jesus Christ, my living home. Oh, hallelujah. Praise the one who set me free. Hallelujah. Death has lost its grip on me. You have broken every chain. There's salvation in your name, Jesus Christ, my living hope. Oh, hallelujah, praise the one who set me free, hallelujah. Death has lost its grip on me, you have broken every chain. There's salvation in your name, Jesus Christ, my living hope. You're my living hope. Oh, you are, you are. Then came the morning that sealed the promise. Your buried body began to breathe Out of the silence The roaring lion Declared the grave has no claim on me Then came the morning That sealed the promise your buried body began to breathe out of the silence. The roaring lion declared the grave has no claim on me. Jesus, yours is the There's salvation in your name, Jesus Christ, my living hope. Oh, hallelujah, praise the one who set me free, hallelujah. Death has lost its grip on me, you have broken every chain. There's salvation in your name, Jesus Christ, my living hope, my Jesus Christ, my living hope. You're my living hope. 